parents, let's talk about why resting could be the best thing for you and your family. Hi, my name is Timothy Utten. I've been a pastor for over 20 years, a parent for about the same amount of time, and I'm also an early elementary educator. Today, I want to talk to you about the concept of Sabbath and how important it can be for you and your family's health and spiritual well-being. So the first question is this, what is a Sabbath? Well, a Sabbath is a intentional, often regular rest from the world so you can spend time with God. So is having a Sabbath time, a rest time that important? And I will tell you, absolutely. For you see, it's actually very scriptural to take a rest from the work that you do. Now, the reality is this, we all work a lot. Both my wife and I work two jobs each, and that's very busy for each one of us, but we both know that our time of rest, our time of Sabbath is so important. It feeds our soul, and I hope it can feed your soul, your spirit, and your family also. So let me tell you more about this Sabbath. So first of all, God and Jesus knew how to Sabbath. For you see, God created the Sabbath. He worked on the first day, second day, third, fourth, sixth day to create the world, everything within it, human beings, stars, skies, all these things. And on the seventh day, he rested. And also, God let us know how important the Sabbath is by putting it in one of the Ten Commandments. What we also need to understand is that Jesus rested also. He took intentional time, even though he could have done many, many other things, he took intentional time to stop and be with his Father in heaven. My friends, if God can rest, if Jesus can rest, so can we. And it's okay to do so and take time off to spend time with our family and with our God. I want to share with you now four ways that we can help create and maintain this Sabbath time for you and your family. The first thing, and I think is sometimes the hardest, is that it is okay to say no. It is okay to keep your schedule open. It's okay to not have any more activity, any more work for that day. It's okay not to have another vent. It's okay to have hours open where you intentionally do nothing. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel burdened. Don't feel like you are slacking as a parent or as a family if you're not running around all the time. And I know that might mean some sacrifice. That might mean maybe the kids don't do every single sport. Maybe that means that you don't do every single activity or volunteer activity that is offered to you. It's okay to say no so that your heart and spirit can rest and you can spend time with God. It's okay to stop and be still and know that God is God. Don't let any fear or guilt burden you because you're taking time off for your spiritual well-being. The next thing I want to share with you when it comes to building this time of Sabbath is to understand that this is a great time for you to come together as a family. Not for mom to find her own place and dad to find his own place and for the kids to go and play by themselves in their playroom. No, this is a great family time of rest. And you know what it might mean? It might mean shutting things off. I mean completely, maybe taking down the Wi-Fi even shutting down the screens, shutting down the TV, and having a time of quiet along with your rest. It may be weird, it may be hard, but I think that's when we can truly focus through that time and allow our hearts to calm down, to listen to what our mind is telling us, listen to what God is telling us, and listen to these things in a time of stillness and rest together. It's good for your family to be together in a time of rest, in a time of Sabbath. Now, before I talk any more about ways that we can draw closer to God in this time of Sabbath, 
I wanted to share with you that I've created these weekday devotions for you and your family. They cover all the days, Monday through Sunday, and they're free to download using the link below found in the description. So far, I've shared with you that it's okay to say no, that it's a good time for you to be with your family, but I will tell you it's a life and family changing time when you use that time to draw closer to your God. You can have that family time to read the Bible together, to pray together, to sing songs of praise together to God. You can use that time to enjoy God's creation, to walk around, see what he's creating, see what he's building in this world, and recognize that God has put you where you are for a reason and for you to acknowledge his greatness in his creation. And I think that is a beautiful thing for all of us to do, to stop and say, God, thank you for making this and providing this and blessing us with these things so that we may enjoy who you are and praise your name through that. The last thing I want to share with you is this. Our time of worship on a Sunday morning is not all that Sabbath is. If you do go to church, and I'm glad if you do, that is a time of fellowship with other believers. But Sabbath goes beyond that time. Now, the Sabbath in the Bible is a full day event. And I think it's great for each of our families to understand that Sabbath is not just an hour, but it could be a full morning, a full day, an afternoon, an evening, whatever you can make of it. I mentioned previously that we have busy lives, and I understand that. And I understand that even some of you may be working on Sundays, the day that we normally associate with a day of rest. But does it have to be Sunday? It doesn't. What time can you notch out for you and your family to say, this is a time to rest my soul. This is a time for us to draw close. This is a time for us to draw close to each other and to God. And when you do those things, you have your Sabbath rest. Parents, you are being lifted up and God is with you and you are never alone. If you found any encouragement in this video, I want to share with you that this video right here might also be a blessing to you.